All right. Here we are. It's us. Oh my god, you're wearing a haircut. Oh yeah, sorry, I was trying to <laughs> pull your back. So we just got out to our house in Amagansett. When we got here, some people were coming by to look at it as a rental because you may or may not know, we rented out for the summer. Um, and we've been doing a lot of improvements, which we're happy about. But we're sitting at our new island with our new chairs that we just got cut down to the right heights. So we can sit here and... Feels like a whole new kitchen now. It feels like a whole new kitchen. You've seen the house tour, I'm sure. If you haven't, go back and check it. We didn't really know what to do this week. I mean, I didn't know what to do on a, for a vlog for my channel. And we didn't have a trip. We've kind of planned it all. Or we've kind of done everything lately that we have. We don't have anything. Yeah, we're just settling. We're trying to figure out our... Our lives. Yeah, we're on the New York tip right now. So we thought we'd do a Q&A for you guys. There's always a lot of questions in the comments about renovations, about our life goals, lifestyle, et cetera, et cetera. So we kind of... What are we up to? Combed through oh, okay. the comments mm. and picked a few key questions. So we're just going to jump into those. And Hannah hasn't seen any of them. I don't know what's going on. So, I'm just here for the ride. So 2020 Q&A, January, new decade. Same us. Same us, but lots of stuff to update on. So number one, what are your general goals and plans for this year? Mm. Um, I mean, I have so many goals. Pushing forward my career in the ways that we've talked about recently. Creating a family, getting pregnant and having a baby. I'm in for that one. I know you are. You're in for all of them. And getting your house done before 20, 2021. Yeah, New York apartment. I think my goals are aligned with your goals. I'm trying to help Hannah get a bunch of things off the lines from product to lifestyle, a bunch of new things. No one knows what it is. Obviously, creating a family is a huge one for us. Thank you guys all for all your support mm -hmm. through all your comments, your DMs, everyone we've met in public since we put out our miscarriage all this, video. All the stories, all of the. It's been all vibes. very helpful been... and really helped us settle in our journey. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also super heightened on creating more on this channel um, and pushing into YouTube even deeper. It was kind of just a pastime and in 2020 I'm trying to look at it as more of part of my career mm -hmm. rather than just a hobby and creating and storytelling. So that's a big one for me and also just furthering my brand presence which we're always constantly working on. We never really turn off wherever we are, whatever we're doing from meeting people to networking to it's the same thing by the way. Do you know? But meeting people shouldn't always seem like you're networking. Yeah, exactly. Or be about networking. Anyway, those are some of our loose goals, and a big one for us is getting our home done in the city, our apartment, because we want to have a family in early 2021, and we would like to be living in there and not in a temporary situation. So. That is a big one for us, and top of the list. We also, another goal is that while we get displaced, we are not gonna be hopping around from multiple hotels to hotels like we did last time. Mm -hmm. We're but renting one apartment. We're renting one spot. Which we'll show you, TBD. To know. <laughs> I won't have to live out of a suitcase. It's true. All right, question two. Is there anything you both want to learn this year? For example, a new skill. I wanna learn so many things. Such as? Um, one thing. Is there any thing you want to learn, like for you, like not business? Right, like uh, like flamenco. Like piano, like you want to like flamenco. Learn a new dance. You want to flamenco. I know. Do you no, want to learn flamenco? No, no that's why I'm trying to spark more ideas. Okay. I mean, I want to learn how to sous vide. Cool. Yeah, I want to learn how to sous vide, <laughs> <laughs> and I want to learn like we have like so many cool cooking things, and I want to be utilizing them. And I know. We could be like having duck confit legs wow. in our sous vide. We could be having ribs. We could Sounds be doing steaks. We could poach eggs. I mean, we could do something as little as poaching like 12 eggs if we're having roasting people. Anyway, so I'd like to learn how to sous vide. There it is. <laughs> it only took seven minutes, but we got that ever. I used to play the piano when I was a kid. I played it for a lot of years, and I took this method called Suzuki, which it's not really nice to hear to the ear, I don't think. They're not like great songs, but I would like to get a small, you know, keyboard hmm. and practice like an hour or two a week and get back into just learning the piano and something where you can unplug from this 
and just do something functional. There's a lot of stuff I do, exercise and whatever that's not on this. But I've more. been reading way more, mm -hmm. which kind of was my goal last year and I've consumed quite a few books last year and I plan to continue that. But this year I think I would like to hone in on piano. I love music as you know, we both DJ, we bond over music. I think it'd be really nice to get full size keyboard and get back into it. So that's one of my goals. Um, you mean that's one of the things you want to learn? One of the things I want to learn, yeah. This year started out with a lot of sad moments. How do you guys stay positive and keep growing as a team? From forest fires to Kobe, coronavirus, coronavirus news, media attacking. Mm -hmm. Kind of a loaded question too. A lot of mindset goes into a question like that and an answer, but I guess long and short of it is, you know, we are not oblivious to the fact that we have good health, um, good fortune, good love in our relationship, good family around us supporting us. And I think it's really important to always kind of take a second and step out of everything you're doing in your busy day and your office work and someone's stressing you out and put, your, put yourself in the position of like Kobe's family or the other families on the plane figuring out that someone was gone. All this stuff becomes like completely obsolete and it doesn't matter and you can't live like that every day but it's good to check in a lot and understand that as stressed as you are and as tough as everything seems like life is pretty is is great yeah and to always be present you know it just shows us so much more and more that like we just have to you know time is precious and we have to honor the time that we have together and make the most of it because anything could be gone in a moment Snap of a finger. Blink of an eye. I think being present is really important and just being grateful that you have your health and your family and mm -hmm. your loved ones and Yeah. And this one. Gratitude. Mm hmm Is there a new country you both haven't been to that you plan to visit this year? <clears throat> There's so many countries <laughs> that I haven't For been example. to that I would love to go to. Well you've already We been. might go this year. I know. Well I was gonna say you've already been to Turkey. Mm -hmm. But that's some place I really want to go. But yeah. we've never been together. Never been together and never been to the place we'd like to go. True. Um, which is kind of Bodrum, the islands, and the, the sea. Greek, the Greek islands that are kind of like off the... They're not Greek. Oh, then there's also the Turkish islands. Yeah, but I want to go, islands. right, but there's in that whole little area is the whole... Turkish island, yeah. I would like to do that as well and possibly go to India. And maybe Ireland. Mm. Ireland's been on the top of my list for a while because it's a pretty short distance, you know, six, eight hours versus 14, 18 hours to get somewhere really far. Um, and I think it'd be really nice to do a road trip up the coast from Dublin, see the big seascapes, cool. stop mean, in the local pubs, been, drink great. some Guinness. Um, I don't like Guinness, but... <laughs> <laughs> you could have a glass of wine. <laughs> Yeah, a really good island. That's been on my list for a while. And that seems like a easier one to accomplish. Obviously, India is a big one. Yeah. And Turkey, super far. India, we'd really love to take our moms to. Was that a surprise for them? I don't know. I thought we were up to. We'd love, really love to take our moms to India. I think it'd be such a fun trip for them. I'd love to go to Hungary with my mom. My mom is Hungarian. Mm, and has never, never been, been to Hungary. That'd be a fun trip with the moms, too. Yeah, that'd be so fun. And a bit easier. We travel a lot, but still so many places. So many places. Do you have any new business ideas slash plans for 2020? Hmm. We do. Not a ton we can talk about. But exciting things. Yeah. We're definitely thinking about how to grow our brands, grow our business outside of DJing and appearances and endorsements. Like what can we own and do for ourselves and Yeah. And it's exciting. Actually, I mean, this is a good time to ask you if you if we were to do something together or separately, what would you guys like to see? Anything from, I mean, obviously like we love home and design, wellness, mm -hmm. fashion. By the way, Brendan's the fashionista. Fashionista out of us both. I don't know, look at this beret. Okay, he did not sign off on the beret. <laughs> I think it looks cute. But yeah, we have some plans. We're both putting up more music this year, which we've been threatening to do for a couple years. Oh. Hannah put out her first remix yeah. last year, and it went really well. Which, thanks for listening, guys. If you haven't listened, you can check it out on my SoundCloud. True. And she's got another great remix coming out soon, and I have uh, An original. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing song that's gonna be a burger. Yeah, I think it should be good and that should come out in the next month So that's really fun on the music side and then yeah We've been flirting with the idea of doing some sort of line together 
um, like a commercial good line in like possibly the home space. Talking about for two years, but haven't pulled the trigger. So mm -hmm. I don't know if you think that's something you guys would be into. Let us know. Kind of candles, blankets, pillows, match holders. Added knicks and knacks. Knicks and knacks. Knick knacks. <laughs> no, but you know, like little yeah, small. little accessories for the home. Been thinking about that for a long time. Even have a name for it, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, time, time and money, people. This all takes time, money, and a big rollout plan because nothing comes easily. Mm -hmm. And then you know, sometimes I think about men's workout lines. Hannah's thinking about beauty, consumer, functional foods, functional foods for women, for women. Uh, you know, travel, travel, be all sorts of things. We're mm -hmm. thinking about all these things all the time, and it just depends, you know, on timing, partners. Obviously, we don't know how to manufacture these things, so we have to find the right people Resources. to do it and systems. strike the right deal. And oh, back systems. to your systems, which may or may not have gotten cut out. <laughs> anyway, that's always on top of the list and getting to be much closer to a realistic part of our brand coming this year. But we're always thinking about something to do together. So yeah. maybe home is something. Anyway, those are kind of the things we're currently excited about, but definitely watch this year. She's definitely got some stuff coming. Um, I'm just slowly well, dipping my toes. He's got many tricks up his sleeves for yeah. sure. We'll see. Out of every country you both visited last year, which one do you recommend? slash talk about the most? Last year, 2019. Probably Tokyo. Yeah. Japan. Hands down. Yeah. Yep, that's it. We've been wanting to go to Japan for a long time and we finally got to go last year in May. Wow. With a really cool travel app called Noken, which was dope. Yeah. We, they helped us do everything, like get the trains. We went from Japan to Hakone and then we went to um, Osaka. Osaka, and then we went to Kyoto. Yeah. And we took the bullet train both ways and we used this app and it was just like incredibly helpful. It laid out everything we needed to do. Plus we did reservations. reservations. everything too. Yeah, it was awesome. And then they had like also some like semi-touristy things that we could opt into or opt out of. And if so, they would schedule that for us. So it was really perfect. We'll link to the video so you can see yeah. what it was about. Um, but then we got to go back and we fell in love with it. And then we got to go back a second time mm -hmm. just at Christmas before going to Australia, it kind of made the most sense to fly through there. Made the most sense Economically. price wise for a plane ticket. Yes. This time around, I fell in love with it even more because yeah. we weren't rushed because we had the, you know, we said we were just going to stay in Tokyo. So mm -hmm. we really got to explore. Five days. We ate completely different places than we did the first time. Saw different um, things. Yeah. And there's just, and it still feels like there's so much to uncover there. It's mm -hmm. so awesome. And it's definitely a city trip. It's not a vacation as far as like island or relax. It's it's a true city, but we love a big city and love exploring. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was awesome. It was really, really cool. Oh, and I did a Google Maps list of like, I don't know, I have maybe 300 places, restaurants, <laughs> stores, cafes, um, museums, galleries. And I have, I'll link it because I put it in Hannah's list, which I don't know, if you know about it, it's my bi-monthly newsletter that comes out and I put cool things in there like my Google Maps link, which I'll leave below. So if you're traveling to Tokyo or any, or Kyoto or Akone. And it's just a long one. It's a long trip. It's obviously on a lot of people's bucket list. It's been on, it had been on ours for a while. So mm -hmm. it was really nice to, it feels like you really made an effort to get there. So you kind of enjoy it that much more because it's such a mission. Yeah. And there's cool things to do really early in the morning when for those first two days when you're there and it's yeah, and the jet, jet lag in the jet lag is real. But you should download this app called Time Shifter, which we've been using to yes. travel. Oh my and god. And it really helps you with jet lag. Time it's Shifter insane. is the greatest jet lag app of all time. It's created by two astronauts and you put the date you're flying your flight number in and it totally populates the schedule for you on when to sleep, when to have bright light, when to have little to no light, when to have caffeine, caffeine, when to have melatonin if you want to take that as a supplement. When to nap. Yeah, when to stay up mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. or nap sleep. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, really cool. It's amazing. This is not an and, ad. This yeah. is just an app that we found and it's so sick. And when we time shifter. We Incredible. went all around. We literally just put our, our flight numbers in and it pulls everything up and it starts prepping you for a flight like Yeah, three days two, before three and days three days before. After. Yeah, it's pretty it's amazing. Remarkable. And I like was very skeptical skeptical about one thing that they told me to do. So I wrote them an email and they were really responsive. Yeah. And they like told me that they would look into it because I, when they gave me the proof, I still didn't believe them. 
but it's good. For me, I have the most trouble coming back um, home. I don't have a lot of trouble sleeping going anywhere, but when I'm coming back west, it's really tough for me. And I've been two times now from Abu Dhabi and from Dubai, both coming home seamlessly, sleeping almost eight hours the first night. Very which true. Which is a game changer. Does Brennan feel different being 40? Uh, quick one for me. I do feel different and I don't feel different. I actually feel better than I felt um, in a long time, in a weird way. I think I'm a little more conscious about my age and my body, oddly, almost overnight. So I just kind of treat it different. I've been eating a little better, working out a little harder, drinking a little less, and just kind of settling into my 40s but the one thing that did really change is and this really felt like it almost happened overnight i've been like i always since i've been 20 been uh, like micro stressed about success and being financially sound having achieved all the things i want to achieve in this life which are like almost impossible um, just setting like really high goals which is good because you need to aspire to do things and accomplish things but I feel like almost overnight I was like, wait a second, back to the point of like, you know, a lot of bad stuff's happened this year. How do you feel in, in gratitude? Just being kind of more settled in my success and my path and understanding like, hey, I'm already doing really well. You've accomplished a lot of things. Instead of looking at big things in front of you and little things in the days to come you want to accomplish, all those micro in front, looking at the macro behind and like, if you look a year back, you've done so much. Mm -hmm. And if you look two years back, you've done so much. And three years back, you've done so much, but you tend to forget that so fast and look at mm -hmm. all these things in front of you that you want to achieve and you're like, oh, I can't do that. Or I haven't saved as much as I wanted to this year. Like, why didn't I put more savings away? And now I have to pay this tax. How come I didn't get to go to this thing? Or like, you're always comparing yourself or like you meet people who are super successful and then you're like, why don't, why haven't I accomplished as much as them as them? And all these things and it, all those like micro little moments start to become a big thing and beat you up. So at 40, I kind of just realized, wait a second, like, Life is good, super happy. You know, we definitely have our struggles, pregnancy, you know, taxes, losing out on jobs we think we should have, businesses that didn't make it, mm -hmm. money we put into things that we don't see back. But what we do have is good health, good love, good family, and each other. So yeah, I feel a little more zen with myself. Ah. Um, and it also had a minor heart issue going into the start of last year or so, or this year. So that made me really calm down, breathe a lot more, okay. started meditating, being off my phone, just reading, enjoying, and just mental clarity of life being nice. Anyway, a lot of hand movement there to tell you things, but what I did is package it in and throw it right at you. <laughs> when is the apartment renovation starting? Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. soft spot mm. right there. So, Ooh. yeah. The apartment renovation is a tough one. New York City is a very tough place to renovate an apartment, especially if you're doing more than just a quick aesthetic kitchen or bathroom. It requires board approval because we live in a co-op, which only kind of exists in New York City, but True. in that co-op, you need approval for things. We finally got approval for things, which took way longer than we thought, involved the walkthrough from the president and the vice president. So they walked through our apartment and that was fine. It all kind of was part of the process. We got through that. So we submitted everything to the Department of Buildings, AKA the DOB, and then we're kind of at the end of that and then found out our building has three violations on the boiler from before we even moved in. Right, minor situation. So a new law or bylaw in the city is that to start work, these violations need to be gone. And it's a way of the city cleaning up all the problems that are in New York, which I get and makes sense, but mm -hmm. is unfortunate because it hit us for the timing. So long story short, until we figure out these three violations and how the board of our building can clean them up, we can't get the green light to renovate our place. So that could be in a week. It could be in two months. We don't really know. We're kind of in a standstill zone, but what we are doing is further planning on materials, appliances, mm -hmm. lighting, all this stuff, trying to get that stuff all in line so all our ducks are in a row and when it comes time, bam, we hammer it out. Pun intended. And that's where we are. So not Clearly, a lot of updates. Brendan's running. He's the project manager. I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. He's not, but he basically is. And it's so scary. In our household, it's really managing scary. the project. It's but scary. His systems are just intense. Mm -hmm. I'm learning a lot. It's stressful, but fun. And it will be amazing when we're on the other side of it. And we're excited to share that with you come time. What are your fitness and health goals for this year? Mm -hmm. 
my fitness and health goals. I mean, I'm always striving to be in the best shape that I can be. I'm really interested in like this food combining, um, combining moment that we're having in the world of nutrition. I have dabbled in it a little bit, but I haven't really fully committed to it. But there's also just like so many ways of cooking that I want to dive into, whether it's Ayurvedic, there's a whole idea of like, you know, the 80-20 raw versus cooked. So just like constantly expanding my knowledge around what people are talking about and what kind of ways people are eating. I've done so many different things in the past, whether it was like eating for my blood type or going, uh, plant-based or keto or I've done all the things just because I have to speak to them so I'm um, just continuing to figure out you know what my body responds to and ultimately what I think other people can implement and enjoy on their own road of mm -hmm. health and wellness that isn't too complicated and definitely isn't a fad you know something that I really think could be a life you know a lifestyle change mm -hmm. I guess I'll fall into that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My fitness and health goals this year are, one, turning 40, I was like, I'm just gonna get in the best damn shape of my life. I started out with these 100 burpees a day for 30 days, which was so intense and really difficult, but it made me realize I wasn't pushing myself hard enough in the gym because after 15 minutes, I was more exhausted than I'd been in an hour. Every hour I had worked out for the past three years, mm -hmm. just that one time and sweating, totally gassed out of breath, like hunched over, <laughs> thinking, how am I gonna get through the rest of these after 50? Um, so now, since I've been going back to the gym, after those 30 days, I've just been pushing myself so much harder, which is just painful and actually very tough mental exercise to do, but been enjoying it a lot. And I'm sore a lot of the time, which day or two after, which I actually really like, because it means you put in the work. Mm -hmm. So except that's good, for, and then- I was gonna say, except for when I go to lie, and you're like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. Gotta be careful. And then just eating better in general, you know, starting to be conscious of how much I'm putting in my body. Food portion control is really big on my mind this year because I tend to eat a lot, especially a whole bag of nuts or seconds at dinner or dessert, just stuff that you might want but don't need. Or if you ate way more of your mains, like why bother have dessert or like don't eat as much meat, whatever. You know, weird in my mind, but I'm trying to slowly piece together better control. Love Fitness, that. food goals. Is there something you'd like to avoid this year? I would like to avoid more negative people. Mm. In the past I've had like, I guess my mentality around like everyone is like, even though someone's super negative, it's coming from somewhere and I should help them figure it out, turn that into a positive and try and fix why they have this negativity towards me or someone but what I'm realizing more, and not, not saying I shouldn't try and help people, but more, more so only focus on helping those I truly care about because it takes so much energy out of me. So many people are so negative. It's it's Yeah, it's a whole thing about getting like rid of toxic friends. Yeah, they, and just like... A lot of people call them like energy vampires. Yeah, it's yeah. really draining. Mm -hmm. I just want a lot less time to them than more. Mm -hmm without being rude, if that makes sense. It's really... Being deliberate with your time, I think, is a really yeah. amazing thing to do. Not rude, it's more... Yeah. I used to sit with people for hours, listen and be therapy and everything, without it ever really coming back to me. There's some people I do that with that's amazing, and it helps me a lot, it helps them a lot, and like I truly love those people. It's kind of more, you know, like, I don't know, business sense almost than mm -hmm. even a friend sense mm -hmm. of like sitting with these people that mm -hmm. want to use your time to kind of better their path, mm -hmm. but like are taking so much energy from you because they're so, their outlook on their work is so negative and they're trying to find path through you, but it could be much easier than like me trying to guide them for hours and when I don't even really know them. Yep, exactly. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's very much so. Okay, I didn't want that to come off rude. I hope it didn't. No, it's, that's like a real thing. Yeah. And time is precious and mm -hmm. your time is valuable, so. What would you like to avoid? I'd like to avoid um, negative thinking. I feel like last year there was like a lot of struggle happening even though, you know, I had a great year. My book tour was amazing. Like obviously having going through the miscarriage while 
in the middle of a book tour. It was just like a lot. Everything with my dental journey was so intense. And I definitely got through it per like positive thinking, but there's just been like the residual of all of that that's like been lingering. So I want to clear like and get rid of all I love that. the negative, yeah, the negative thoughts and self doubt because the remnants, <laughs> the remnants because we have bigger and better things to be doing and clear up that room to put some we positive, stay happy vibes manifesting. So full manifestation all the time. It's worked a lot so far. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Love that one. What can we expect from the YouTube channel this year? Well, this is a this is new for us. Yeah, we did one Q and A before on our. Oh relationship. yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. But maybe some more Q and As. I think you know it's nice to just talk and and. Uh... Or just me in general, a little bit more me. <laughs> you know, we could do a style video or. I can't get enough me. of you. Yeah, we should do one of those. I know we should do that. Um, I keep talking about it. I mean, I just did a poll on my YouTube channel, and you guys all liked more house updates, which again, we would love to give you. It's just. Time is a little tough in the zone we're at. You should more travel. You should film the. So more things from YouTube this year are more of us, more home renovations when the time comes, more travel. Um, I know you guys love that. We love to travel. It inspires us. It gives us tons of new ideas. It allows us to kind of reboot, reload, and remotivate. Um, and we just love seeing new places and meeting new people. Um, trying new things. Trying new things. Eating delicious local food. <laughs> and then, yeah, I don't know. We're up for suggestions on whatever you think. And then style stuff. Yeah, we'll do some more style stuff with Hannah. Maybe some more organization stuff. I love the organization mm. side. And Ashley, our friend and founder of... Of Space and Mind. Is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe we'll do some more stuff with her. But uh, yeah, just growing the channel. Maybe working with some other YouTubers. Been in chats on that. Um, yeah, collaboration. With a so couple fun. people about going into their homes, seeing what's up, which could be really fun. Um, and might just do some real estate tours around New York and get inspired for our um, renovation and see what else other people are doing out there. So that's it. That's all. This was so cute. Yeah. Fun Q&A. If you want more of these, let us know right down here. If you don't want more of these, don't let us know right down here. No, I'm just trying. Please feel free to comment. We read them all. All right, Q&A is over. Thanks for tuning in. This is uh No, let's just do like. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> That's it. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. I would feel like I just answered 15 things. In the <laughs> Hold on, I gotta plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. This is cute. Where? This little sash. Mm -hmm. Take out my outfit. Thank you. Have you seen this? <laughs>